is Valeria Calle. And I'm Zach Walker. And, and welcome, welcome to Peacock, Peacock TV. TV. This past week has been quite busy for the students here at St. Peter's. I agree with you, Zach. And in our top stories, the seniors share their journey and memories as the graduation is quickly approaching. Isaiah Dasher has more details on this heartwarming story. As the semester comes to an end, the class of 2023 is a few days away from a significant milestone. Throughout the ups and downs at St. Peter's, it's time for a senior's farewell. Here we have a few memories from our fellow Peacock seniors. Okay, so my favorite part of St. Peter's was joining the Tribune. Um, when I came in and I joined uh, the newspaper, it gave me like a sense of community and I was able to uh, make friends, bond with people. I was also able to be in the know of whatever was going on at school. So I'm really gonna miss that side of school, having like that community and that place to go to after school as well. Well, I really enjoyed my senior year here at St. Peter's. Uh, coming back from COVID junior year, I really didn't know anybody. I had friends freshman year, but a lot of people I knew didn't really still go to the school. So I wasn't really involved with much. Uh, senior year though, I really got involved on campus. Like last year, I would really just come to class, go home. This year I was uh, on the e-board of the St. Peter's Tribune. So I got to cover many events. I met a lot of people. I met a lot of faculty. And I really just felt like I was way more involved with the community. My senior year at St. Peter's has been the best experience. And part of that has to do uh, with being a part of the St. Peter's Tribune. I've made great friends. I've stepped out of my comfort zone. And I've also just become part of the community, which has been really fun. My favorite memory of senior year was um, my drag bingo event with my club. We had an actual drag queen come, which was really fun, and the students loved it. Good luck to those four seniors graduating. This year, the class of 2023 commencement will be held at PNC Bank Arts Center, May 19th in Homedale, New Jersey. With the commencement starting at 10.30 a.m., get there early seniors. Wishing the best of luck to the class of 2023 and all graduating seniors this year. This is Isaiah Dasher from Peacock TV. Thank you, Isaiah, and good luck to all the seniors in their adventures ahead. Now, Edwin was able to attend the Muslim Student Association Met Gala. Let's go see how that went. After 30 days of Ramadan, the Muslim holiday has came to an end, and we are here at the Roy Irving Theater joining into the Met Gala event hosted by the MSA, Muslim Student Association, for food and guest speaker with other uh, Muslim students and non-Muslim students. Suja Jaffrey, a senior here at St. Peter's University, is also the president of the MSA and spoke to us about what are the purposes of holding an annual Met Gala, what do they do, and how was um, the purposes of Ramadan important even after the closing of a long 30-day holiday. It is a new tradition that the MSA is starting and hopes to continue on. Um, for the further years as this club progresses. And the whole focus of the Met Gala is reflection about the month of Ramadan, the month of mercy, the month of fasting, and the month of giving back um, to people in various ways. And within this Met Gala, we really try to emphasize that and let our guests take home that, hey, even though Ramadan has ended, the charity has not ended, you know? The reflection hasn't ended. It still continues on within time. Edwin Velasquez, SPU News. Thank you, Edwin, for highlighting the diversity in St. Peter's University. And in sports, the baseball team shatters their home run record, and Zach Walker has more details on this amazing story. When people think of St. Peter's University, baseball is usually swept under the rug. This season is historically different, however, as the Peacocks have broke the single-season team home run record, a record held since 2010, still with eight games to play. I was able to talk with some of the players about what the feat meant to them. The team home run record was not even a thought to me. I didn't even know it existed. I didn't even know what it was. But once we started hitting home runs and everyone started tacking them on, 
uh, somebody did their research and found out what it was, and we found out we broke it. I definitely don't think the home run record was something that people were like thinking about necessarily, like going back and someone doing the research to see that. And I didn't really even know about it till probably like a little halfway over when we had a few bombs and uh, people kind of started bringing it up. But yeah, no, it definitely wasn't a thought. I didn't even know what it was. So no, nah, it wasn't really in the back of my head at all. Um, I was never really a home run guy. Um, so no, I wasn't really thinking about it. The only thing I could think about was really getting ready for the season. Last year, um, I put a lot of pressure on myself last year. You know, I spent two years at a Division One school that I didn't play at. So coming here and getting another opportunity, getting thrown into the starting role, um, I felt like I had a lot, a lot to prove to myself, a lot to prove to other people. Um, you know, going through that year, getting that year of experience under my belt, I like to say getting it out of the way. Um, this year coming back, I felt a lot more comfortable and I kind of just went out there to play to have fun. The biggest difference from last year to this year for me was kind of getting that first year under my belt. That was my first real experience with just the last three years, injury, COVID. So last year was my first like opportunity to play. And I think it was just adjusting to a 50 game season and kind of making adjustments on the fly and like kind of correcting those mistakes. And I definitely have figured out this year, just being more mature, how to actually like from game to game take certain things and uh yeah it's definitely just an experience thing for me to me baseball is kind of a ticket to get my education to kind of pay through school make sure i didn't get uh, any debt just playing a kids game basically and it allowed me to kind of pay for college so i'm very thankful for that i try to treat the game the same way i did when i was 12 years old when i was 10 years old like it's just a game and I'm playing it to have fun. I'm not playing it like college baseball is such a business, but that business aspect got me here. So I'm just here to play and have fun. So three to four hours of the day, I get to step between the lines and be 12 year old Jack Eichler again. For Peacock TV, I'm Zach Walker. MLD, what you think? Hey. And with Haney's ninth home run this past weekend, he now holds the individual home run record. So congrats, Sam. College can be stressful for a lot of students, and even I can admit, school is not the most fun. Val was able to meet with a graduate student and discuss how he handles all the pressure. St. Peter's University graduate student John Cermak is using his own experience to advise fellow students. Hi, my name is John Cermak. I am currently a graduate student getting my master's in communication and public relations. And right now, I am currently towards the end of my first, first year and get on my master's here. As an undergraduate student who had to take online courses during the pandemic, Cermak learned the importance of managing time wisely. Yeah, time management is key. That's something I struggled with for a bit with online classes because there could be days where you meet like one class online and you sleep in till like 10 minutes before class starts and you have nothing ready or you think, oh, you know, I have like a week until this next class meets. I can wait to finish my assignments. Then it's the night before and you didn't do any of it. So you're staying up late, losing precious hours of sleep because, you know, you don't have to go in person to deliver it. So definitely work on getting that straightened out. That way you don't feel like you're always stressed out or losing sleep over things you shouldn't always have to worry about. Well, I would definitely say maybe you should do the accelerator program. I didn't sign up for it until like I was almost done with senior year, but with the accelerator program, um, it does cover like some of the costs that come with grad classes or whatnot. And it's also just more time saving in general because you don't meet up that often in a week for classes. So it's easy for you to squeeze them in during undergrad and that way you're basically able to only have to go for like one year after you graduate and you have more time to look for any internships or actual like job positions that you want to work at put more time towards your professional career um, because everyone's getting their bachelor's these days like you don't really stand out much with just that it's nothing special anymore so I think showing that you're willing to put extra time and effort into earning a more professional degree I think that does help you stand out with employers more they want to hire like the best candidates that they can for every experience level. So showing that you're willing to put in more time, they have more educational and first-hand experience with those fields, that does help you stand out and it's more effective in helping you get the position you may want.
Thanks for that story, Val. And good luck to all the graduate students with finals week coming up. And congratulations to all the seniors graduating. My name is Valeria Calle. And I'm Zach Walker. For Free Cook TV. Signing off.